Hello, and welcome back to Weekday Wind Down with the Word, where we are reading through the book of Genesis. And today we will be reading the first part of Genesis in the 36th chapter. It's too long for me to read it in less than 10 minutes, so I'm just going to do half today and then half tomorrow. So today we will be reading about Esau's descendant. So with that being said, let's start reading. Now these are the generations of Esau, who is Edom. Esau took his wives of the daughters of Canaan, Ada, the daughter of Elon, the Hittite, and Ahalibama, the daughter of Anna, the daughter of Zibion, the Hivite, and Bashamath, Ishmael's daughter, sister Nabajah. And Ada bare to Esau Eliphaz, and Bashamath bare Ruel, and Ahalibama, bear Jeush and Jalem and Korah. These are the sons of Esau, which were born unto him in the land of Canaan. And Esau took his wives and his sons and his daughters and all the persons in his house and his cattle and all the beasts and all his substance, which he had got in the land of Canaan, and went into the country from the face of his brother Jacob, for their riches were more than they might dwell together and the land wherein they were strangers could not bear them because of their cattle. Thus dwelt Esau in Mount Seir. Esau is Edom. These are the generations of Esau, the father of the Edomites in Seir. These are the names of Esau's son, Eliphaz, the son of Ada, the wife of Esau, Ruel, the son of Beshemah, the wife of Esau, and the sons of Eliphaz were Timan, Omar, Zepho, and Gadam, and Kenaz. And Timnah was the concubine to Eliphaz, Esau's son. And she bare to Eliphaz Amalek. These were the sons of Ada, Esau's wife. And these are the sons of Ruel, Naha, and Zerah, Shammah, and Mizah. These were the sons of Beshemath, Esau's wife. And these were the sons of Ahalibama, the daughter of Anna, the daughter of Zebian, Esau's wife. And she bare to Esau's Jeush and Jalam and Korah. These were the dukes of the sons of Esau, the sons of Eliphaz, the firstborn son of Esau, Duke Teman, Duke Omar, Duke Zepho, Duke Kanaz, Duke Korah, Duke Kadam, and Duke Amalek. These are the dukes that came from Eliphaz in the land of Edom. These were the sons of Ada, and these are the sons of Ruel, Esau's son, Duke Naha, Duke Zerah, Duke Shammah, Duke Mizah. These are the dukes that came from Ruel in the land of Edom. These are the sons of Beshemeth, Esau's wife. And these are the sons of Ahalibama, Esau's wife, Duke Jeush, Duke Jalam, Duke Korah. These were the dukes that came of Alibama, the daughter of Anna, Esau's wife. These are the sons of Esau, who is Edom, and these are their dukes. These are the sons of Seir, the Horite who inhabited the land, Lotan, and Shaba, and Zibion, and Anna, and Dishon, and Ezar, and Dishon. These are the dukes of the Horites, the children of Seir, and the land of Eden, and the children of Lotan, and Hari, and Haman, and Lotan's sister was Timnah, and the children of Shobal were these, Alvin and Manaha and Ebal, Shepho and Onam. And these are the children of Zibion, both Aja and Anna. This is what Anna that found the muse in the wilderness as he fed the asses of Zibion, his father. And the children of Anna were these Dishon and Ahalibama, the daughter of Anna, and these are the children of Dishon, Hemden, 
and Ishban and Ithran and Sharon. The children of Ezer are these Bilhan and Zavan and Akan. The children of Dishan are these Uz and Aran. These are the dukes that came of the Horites. Duke Lotan, Duke Shabal, Duke Zebian, Duke Anna, Duke Dashan, Duke Ezar, Duke Dishan. These are the dukes that came from Hari among their dukes in the land of Sierra. And these are the kings that reign in the land of Edom before their reign any king over the children of Israel. And Bela, the son of Beor, reigned in Eden. And the name of his city was Denhaba. And Bela died, and Jobab, the son of Zerah, of Bozar, of Bozrah, reigned in his stead. And Jobab died, and Husham, of the land of Timani, reigned in his stead. And Husham died. And Hadad, the son of Bidad, who smote Midian in the field of Moab, reigned in his stead. And the name of the city was Avite. And Hadad died, and Shimla, the Mascara, reigned in his stead. And Shimla died, and Saul, the Rohabah, by the river, reigned in his stead. And Saul died, and Belhanan, the son of Akbar reigned in his stead. And Baal Hana, the son of Akbar, died. And Hadar reigned in his stead. And the name of the city was Pu. And his wife's name was Mahetabel, the daughter of Matrit, the daughter of Mazehab. And these are the names of the dukes that came up Esau according to their family after their places by their names, Duke Timna, Duke Ava, Duke Jeheth, Duke Ahalibama, Duke Ellen, Duke Pennon, Duke Kanaz, Duke Timna, Duke Meba, Medzar, Duke Magdiel, Duke Aram, these be the dukes of Edom, according to their habitation and the land of their possession. He is Esau, the father of the Edomites. And that concludes Genesis 36. I really didn't think I was going to get finished with it. And uh, I just kept going. But all along while I'm reading this, I'm thinking, you know, uh, there has to be some importance to why God listed off, you know, each and every child, at least the male children. And sometimes he went from generation to generation and and my thoughts are, you know, it's just one way of us being back, being able to go back and trace the generations um, that led up to Jesus Christ. You know, you can link it all the way back. You know, when you read in the book of Luke, I know you can uh, trace his lineage all the way back to Adam. But. If, if you read in the Old Testament, you can you can see these people, you know, um, it actually tells when they were born and it tells about them. And so you can just, you know, take that lineage all the way back to Adam. So we know that Jesus, that's, you know, it's the second Adam. And another thing I was thinking is that, you know, which I think I mentioned yesterday is that there is some importance in us writing down um, or even researching if you had written down your own lineage because it it just solidifies um, part of who you are and it also helps you learn and grow about who you are. It also, um, and it keeps you from repeating his.